All right, guys, I'm here with a bit of information for Dragon Ball Legends. So we've known that these three were going to be coming into the game for a little while now, but the official Dragon Ball Legends Twitter accounts have just shown us the next three sparking units that will be coming into the game, and they are none other than Basil, Lavender, and Bergamo, or otherwise known as the Trio de Dangers. So yes, we finally do have gameplay of these units. I've been fairly excited because I actually really like the Trio de Dangers, but just the fact that we now have gameplay of them in Legends is awesome. So with that being said, let's take a look. Hardly a battle. Let me end you. Goku's king. Still no match for my poison. Here I am. Far enough. Too scared of my poison to attack? Let me end you. Get ready. This fight ain't gonna be that easy for ya! Goku, I will crush you! That's it! Brace your gear! Just try and stay calm, but you're at the end of your reach. What? Is that all you got? I'm actually very excited for these guys because I actually really like the trio to dangers, but I'm just extremely happy to finally see them in a video game. I wanted them in Xenoverse and they never came through in that game, so I'm glad that they're in Legends. But now that we've seen what they can do, let's break it down. So starting off with my personal favorite from the bunch, it says, Basil is coming. Basil's special arts, Danger Doping, recovers key and grants uncancelable increased damage and lowered strike and blast arts costs. Combine that with his uncancelable draw speed from his unique and you've got one dangerous combo fighter. Okay. <sighs> one, I'm just really sad that they gave him Shining Blaster. I really wanted Wolfgang Pressure. <laughs> I just think that uh, Wolfgang Pressure is a, a more fitting special move, but I get it. I mean, Shining Blaster is like more of his, uh, his trademark move, I guess. It's a stronger attack. But either way though, uh, <laughs> can you guys uh, add Wolfgang Pressure one day, please? Thanks. Anyway. The fact that he's able to recover his key and he gets uncancelable damage increase and lowered strike and blast cards, Oster, uh, blast arts costs. I'm sorry, it's kind of early as I'm recording this. It's kind of crazy. And not only that, it's one thing that it's uncancelable for him to be able to obviously recover his key and buff himself and lower the uh, actual cost of his cards, but he also increases his card draw speed with his unique ability and that is also uncancelable so uh, it seems as if this is going to be the unit of the bunch that constantly gets cards and is able to use them in succession so um i i hope that his damage actually does reflect his ability to stack um cards you know over and over and over but if not then that will be fairly disappointing but he does actually seem to be fairly dangerous a again the fact that you can't cancel any of those abilities is kind of scary and that's from his special arts not special like not special move not no his special arts which is uh they usually uh refer to special skill and special arts as um the same thing otherwise if it feels a special move they would say special move but um yeah this is this is actually crazy and i really do want to see this in action plus i really like his fighting style like Obviously, Basil is known as Basil the Kicker, so his entire fighting style is based off of him using his feet, apart from him using Key Blast, which he uses with his hands. So he's kind of like the second unit in the game that we have 
that just has like an all you know kicking fighting style because i believe the very first one is the lf vegito um lf super vegito if i'm not mistaken if not him uh then there's probably some other unit but um yeah again i'm extremely happy that he's in okay moving on to lavender it says lavender is coming lavender's special move and strike and blast arts after using his special arts all inflict strong poison his main ability also gives a huge damage boost versus poisoned foes this is the toxic fighter you poison lovers have been waiting for so um lavender's the saboteur of the group right obviously that's how he was in the anime as well when he fought gohan which also by the way uh this stage looks nice thank you for uh <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, yes, he's the saboteur of the group. His main purpose is to try and land strong poison on the enemy. So hopefully you'll be able to whittle their health away as the battle progresses. Now, there are a lot of units out there that may be either immune or that can tank um, taking a status ailment. So to really see how he'll like shine in battle is to be determined. Right? Like, for example, if you're to, like, have him pin up against the Android team, it's not really going to matter much, right? Because, obviously, one of the core units of that team is Zenkai 16. And if I'm not mistaken, um, either he's just completely immune to it in general, or he's able to tank um, status ailment changes twice. So that's not really going to help. And then, of course, like, you put him up against units like... Um, the reviving cell, it's not really gonna matter for his first health because he's just gonna come back to life. Uh, and even at that, strong poison doesn't actually, you know, kill. Like, well, if I'm not mistaken, any status ailment doesn't kill the opponent. It will leave you at one HP left. So again, it does help, but it's not something that's guaranteed going to finish the battle. But it is what it is though, because at the end of the day, that's just one team out of the many teams that are already in the game. And for all we know, that strong poison could help wipe out some units that could be extremely annoying in some teams. Again, only time will tell. But again, it's also the fact that his main ability also gives a huge damage boost versus poison foes. So if you actually manage to land the poison, then guess what? You're gonna be dealing some damage. But again, makes sense. So it's gonna be interesting to see like, you. <laughs> It's gonna be interesting to see people attempt to sabotage the opponent by landing poison on them. So hopefully they'll be able to deal more damage to the opponent with this character in particular. But again, only time will tell. And then we get to the final one, the leader of the group. It says, Bergamo is coming. Bergamo sports incredible defense and gets stronger as time uh, timer counts pass or when hit by strike, blast, or special arts. His ultimate deals more damage the more battles or battle uh, members you have left. So try to land it uh, with the whole trio to dangers. Okay, one, again, I'm tired as I'm reading this, so I apologize if I'm not really going through it smoothly. But I kind of figured that this is what they're going to have to do in, I guess, in place of him actually, you know, growing. Right, because uh, if you guys know, Bergamo is able to store energy that he's received uh, through somebody attacking him and able to redirect it by growing bigger and then attacking. Obviously, there are no giant characters in this game, which I still think is unfortunate, but it is what it is. But in order to make up for that, he receives the damage and just gets buffs off of them. So it, it still makes sense. He just doesn't grow. But um incredible defense which is actually really good because a lot of units now are going to need defense against a lot of the monsters we have in this game much like of course Vegito blue zankai 18 uh zankai bardock zankai uh lf team gohan etc etc so having good defense is definitely going to go a long way and not only that he gets stronger as timer counts pass but when hit by strike blast or special arts so all all in all he's going to constantly get stronger the only thing is if they're cancelable, right? Because if they're permanent, then I think he'll be fine. But if they're cancelable, then I really think that'll cripple Bergamo a lot, right? Especially as the battle progresses, because obviously you want to make sure that you're able to retain as many buffs on your characters as possible. So any moment that they lose those buffs, it could be detrimental, especially depending on who you're fighting against. But again, we'll see. Um, I'm actually surprised too that it also counted special arts for something 
that will um buff him as well but that's that's gonna be interesting and of course his ult deals more damage the more battle members you have left so i would say obviously try to actually i don't know like you could lead off with this unit because of the fact that he's defensive and because of the fact that he gets stronger as he takes damage so yeah um you could definitely uh, lead off with this unit and uh try to make that work uh we'll have to wait and see how that uh actually functions although there is one thing that i'm curious about um this man has a, a counter <laughs> he, he has a counter so um obviously this is his uh special skill and if i'm not mistaken we saw it absorb a special move we saw it absorb uh, and strike arts i believe as well and when it happened uh, well okay apart from the special move one because obviously that was from long range but when it happened with the strike arts he was able to follow up immediately so uh one of the comboable arts is strike so that's good um hopefully you'll be able to follow up with blast and i'm pretty sure usually you're able to follow up with special moves as well that's gonna be really good man especially the likes of like and taking a final coming out my haunt to the face that thing will just absorb that crap like I, I don't know if it's um gonna absorb it entirely and that's that or if it's just like something that's just gonna you know i i don't know i don't know but it, it seems like a good perk like last thing i would want to do is take a final kamehameha to the face and get annihilated especially because that traps you in for a few timer counts as well so oh my goodness it, I, i'm again i'm actually excited for this like this they look like solid units and of course we did just get the brand new tag rival universe so the fact that we have a brand new tag to actually go along with these units is going to be great as of this recording i haven't actually checked the game yet so i don't know what element factor they are but i will say that i would probably see these guys work well with obviously those three together along with hit kefla and maybe some other units to help boost that tag because they all fall under the rival universe tag for sure so we will all be able to see how all these guys work in the near future again i'm pretty sure with this they're probably either dropping in the next day of the reset or the day after but i do want to know what you guys think about the trio to dangers in the comment section below are you guys actually excited that we're starting to get a lot more a uh, tournament of power units if you will or are you guys still just desperately wanting other tournament of power units that interest you again i'm hyped for them i think they're cool and i can't wait to get my hands on them personally but i do want to know what you guys think about them in the comment section below but with that being said i'm Kuba. like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video